You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, in which His Royal Highness extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the occasion of crowning Muharraq Club as the AFC Cup champion for the second time. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the victory is a culmination of His Majesty's care and attention to Bahraini sports in general and to football in particular, which resulted today in winning the Asian Championship. His Royal Highness said that the victory of Muharraq Club represents a joy for all by elevating the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain in such international forum, which is in addition to the achievements made by Bahraini sports within the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness also expressed his sincere congratulations to the club's chairman, players and fans, as well as the technical and administrative bodies for scoring such an achievement, extending his thanks to the players for their efforts throughout the matches of the AFC tournament. His Royal Highness wished the Muharraq club success and further future achievements. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the chairman of the board of directors of Muharraq Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali al-Khalifa, on the occasion of the club's football team winning the AFC Cup for the second time in its history following a 3-0 victory over Uzbek Nasaf team. His Majesty expressed his sincere congratulations to Muharraq Club chairman, the club's board of directors, team players, club members and fans for the remarkable sporting achievement, which is in addition to the record of Bahraini football achievement and reflects the sport's development and distinction on the level of the Asian continent. His Majesty he praised the skills, capabilities and performance of the players as well as their insistence on achieving victory that they have presented throughout the competition and the efforts of the technical and administrative bodies which enabled the team to achieve this well-deserved Asian title. His Majesty also expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Bahraini fans for their honorable stance and support for the team which played an important role in attaining this outstanding achievement. His Majesty the King wished Muharraq Club and all the national clubs success in further development in various sports, competitions and championships. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Muharraq Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the club football team crowning the AFC Cup for the second time in its history after its victory over the Uzbek Nasaf, three goals to none. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations to the Chairman, members of the Board of Directors, team players, all members of the club, and its fans for this honorable sporting achievement for the country, which is added to the record of Bahraini football achievements and reflects its development and distinction on the level of the Asian continent. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of Muharraq Club and its constant goal to elevate the kingdom's status in tournaments at the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness lauded the enthusiastic spirit the players showcased throughout the championship that led to this achievement. His Royal Highness praised the support of the Muharraq fans and the people of Bahrain to the team throughout the tournament, which had a great impact on the players in attaining this achievement and wished Muharraq Club and all the national clubs success and further development. Head of the National Guard, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the victory of Muharraq Club in the Asian Football Confederation Cup after its victory over the Uzbek Nasaf in the final match that took place between the two teams. His Highness praised the distinguished performance of the team members who deserve to win the Federation Cup. His Highness stressed that the development that the football is witnessing in the Kingdom of Bahrain reflects the great care and broad interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for sports in all its fields, which led to the realization of a wide number of sports achievements in regional and international forums. His Highness also noted that this reflects the high sports capabilities and technical and administrative levels that the club has reached, headed by Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, pointing out that the achievement will enrich the club's career. He also expressed his sincere congratulations to the chairman and members of the board of directors of Muharraq Club and all its affiliates, praising the great efforts made by the team's players in the final match. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Muharraq Club's football team winning the AFC Cup. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the achievement is a translation of the great support that Bahraini sports enjoys from His Majesty the King and confirms the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting Bahraini clubs in their competitions abroad and providing them with the idea environment to attain achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also commended the support to Muharra Club provided by the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed to this landmark achievement for Bahrain youth football. His Highness added that the Muharra team players managed to raise the AFC Cup with all merit following a career full of sacrifices and sincerity as they demonstrated determination and persistence that enabled them to showcase their best technical levels in the match and coming in first place. 
place. Sheikh Nasser also expressed his appreciation for the great efforts made by the Bahrain Football Association, headed by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in supporting Maharag and its Asian journey and keenness to provide full support to the team, which greatly contributed to creating the ideal atmosphere to win the AFC Championship. His Highness also commended the board of directors of Maharag Club, headed by Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, who worked hard and sincerely to provide the team with a positive atmosphere throughout its journey in the championship, reaching the final and achieving the title. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the fans for their encouragement and support as the team represented the Kingdom of Bahrain in this Asian journey. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Crown Team Bahrain Victorious Rider Isa Al Anizi in first place in the opening race of the international season for a distance of 120 kilometers, which started in the new village of Ras Al Bar and concluded at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah also crowned Team Bahrain Victorious Rider Mohammed Al Hashmi in second place, while the Shahid Walid took third place. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad expressed his happiness with the victory of the team Bahrain Victorious in the first and second places in the 120 kilometer race, pointing out that this victory reflects the full readiness of the team to continue achieving championships despite the strong competition in the season, praising the victory of Al Zaim team in third place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the outstanding efforts made by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and creating the ideal atmosphere for stables and riders and organizing the race in the best way. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen to guide the riders through his follow-up to all stages in the 120 and 100 kilometer international races as these directives motivated them to finish the stages successfully. At the end of the race, the winners of the best horse condition competition were honored under the patronage of captain of the Knights team, Her Highness Sheikh Noura bint Hamad Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, lauding His Majesty's support for the orphanage in the social, health and sports fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the RHF developmental projects regarding supporting the orphanage in particular and all groups benefiting from its services in general are due to the constant care and support of His Majesty. His Highness also praised the general support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the RHF 
This came as an agreement to renew cooperation between the RHF and Real Madrid club in Spanish City was signed. His Highness Sheikh Nasser has directed the RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, to sign the agreement with Vice President of Real Madrid, Mr. Enrique Sanchez Gonzalez, in the presence of the international player ambassador, Alvaro Arbelio. On this occasion, Dr. Mustafa expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for His Highness's support to the work of the Foundation and His Highness's directives to advance the work of the RHF to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King by providing a decent and comprehensive life for Bahraini orphans in all social, health, scientific and sports aspects. Dr. Mustafa Said stressed that this achievement is a result of the support and guidance of His Highness and His Highness's interest in giving orphans opportunity in all fields and this cooperation is considered a pioneering model for charitable sports. Dr. Mustafa Said added that the Academy embraces children of the RHF, creates opportunities for them to achieve their dreams and aspirations in playing football and develop their abilities and skills to reach high levels of performance that qualifies them to reach the prestigious clubs and the national team and to experience internal and external professionalism. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Muharraq Club's historic achievement, which saw them lifting the AFC Cup for the second time in their history. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was present in the stands alongside His Excellency Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Asian Football Confederation, His Excellency Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Football Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, Deputy President of the Bahrain Football Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, Deputy President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Excellency Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, President of Mpara Club, Mr. Rafshan Ermatov, First Deputy President of Uzbekistan Football Association, and His Excellency Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, CEO of the General Sports Authority. After the final whistle, His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned Mpara Club and participated in lifting the cup with the winners. Commenting on this, His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the performance of Mahara Club in the game, applauding the players' firm desire to win the game and achieve this exceptional result, which adds to the club's bright accomplishments. His Highness also praised the unwavering support the players received throughout the game from the fans who filled the stadium to back the team, congratulating Mahara Club's president, members, players and fans on this accomplishment. His Highness expressed his pride in the victory, which he described as an extension of Mahara's rich history, adding that the club has always honored the kingdom and wrote history with golden letters.
In the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Vice President of the Supreme Authority for the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the second race of the season held at the club's track in Arafah area in Sakhir. The race was held on the Montreal Motors Cup, the Cup of the late Abdul Hadi Al Afu, and the Sakhir Cup for Arabian Horses. The event was attended by a number of their Highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race, and an audience of house racing enthusiasts. The winners of the race's cups were His Highness Sheikh. Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who received the cup of the late Abdul Hadi Al Afu, and from from Abdul Rida Abdul Hadi Al Afu, while the owner of the Montreal Motors Company, Ibrahim Al Sheikh, presented the Montreal Cup for the second round to the winner James Neller, and the Montreal Cup for the eighth to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. While the executive director of the Rashid Equestrian Club and Race Horses, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the Sakhir Cup to Abdullah Fauzinas. This is the good news. Happy who was and racing the representative council speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of crowning Mahara Club as the AFC Cup champion for the second time. In her congratulatory cable, Zainal affirmed that this sporting achievement was a result of the royal directives of His Majesty the King's support to Mahara Club that added a new achievement to the kingdom. Zainal also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on this occasion, praising the government's support to the sports and youth sector in the kingdom. Zainal also sent a congratulatory cable to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion. She congratulated the Mahara Club's board members, players and fans on this accomplishment. Sure Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of crowning Mahara Club as the AFC Cup champion for the second time. As Saleh expressed his pride in the outstanding performance of the team that reflected the level of the Bahraini sports during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and the constant support of the government. Saleh also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad on the sporting achievement praising the role played by His Highness in the advancement of sports in the kingdom. Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al-Khalifa allotted the pioneering role of the Supreme Council for Women led by Her Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim al-Khalifa in supporting the development march through cooperation with all parties to strengthen legislation, procedures and practices necessary for the proper implementation of the National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women. The Minister of Justice emphasized that the Supreme Council for Women's support for the development of the infrastructure of the justice system, which spanned for two decades, resulted in the progress of legal procedures and the establishment of the Family Reconciliation Office at the Ministry of Justice in addition to the development of family guidance services in the governorates and the issuance of the Unified Family Law as well as the allocation of the legal courts building. His Excellency Ambassador Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa presented his credentials as permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to UNESCO to the Director General of UNESCO, Audrey Azoulay. The UNESCO Director General praised the Kingdom's prominent role in the region, stressing UNESCO's readiness to support the Kingdom's priorities in the fields of the organizational work. For his part, Ambassador Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed praised the cooperation between Bahrain and UNESCO, which has resulted in important cultural projects as Bahrain chaired the World Heritage Committee in 2018 and its capital, Manama, hosted the 42nd meeting of the committee. Since 2012, the Kingdom has hosted the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage, which is working on preserving the Arab cultural heritage and the World Heritage Site in the region through wide programs, as well as the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology, which was also inaugurated in 2012. Both sides reviewed strong relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and UNESCO and the efforts made by the Kingdom to support UNESCO's projects and programs aimed at promoting human development in the fields of education, culture and science. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain condemned the attempt of the Iran-backed Houthi terrorist militia to target the Saudi city of Jaizan with a drone in a terrorist act that reflects its continued insistence on targeting civilians and civilian facilities. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs praised the capabilities of the Saudi Air Defense Forces that destroyed the drone before it reached its target. The Ministry affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain stands in supporting all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to protect its security, stability and territorial integrity. Bahrain also called on the international community to condemn these terrorist acts that violate international humanitarian law and threaten the security and stability of the region. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,180,702 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,144,261 had taken the second, and 468,321 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 369 with 30 recoveries, 28 registered new cases and no deaths. Eight of the new registered cases were expatriates, 14 were contacts of active cases and six were travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.